Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On this episode, let me show you some things that you may not have known Siri can do. So let's start off by looking at some Siri commands that have to do with time. You can ask Siri how many days or hours or minutes or seconds until a specific time. So for instance, say you've got a graduation coming up next year and you want to count down the days. How many days until June 5th? It's 304 days until then. So you can have Siri set alarms, set timers, and even create events and calendar. So let's look at those. Uh, let's set an alarm. And I do this all the time. It's much easier than actually setting it on the screen. It's very easy, it's quick, and it's accurate. Set an alarm for 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. I've set an alarm for 6 a.m. And I find you can even ask Siri things like uh, wake me up tomorrow at 6 a.m. and it will set an alarm like this. Let me turn this off and let's look at setting a timer. Set a timer for 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, I set it. Just remember a watched iPhone never boils. Now you can uh, pause the timer. You can remove the timer very easily as well. Cancel that timer. Okay. I stopped the timer and reset it to 8 minutes. Now I recently did a video about creating recurring events in the calendar app on your Mac. And as a lot of people pointed out and most of us know you can't do that on iOS. It's never been a feature in the calendar app on iOS to set recurring events. But you can actually do it using Siri. Not all the options are available but you can do some basic stuff. Create a recurring event for every Tuesday at 9 a.m. called Breakfast. Okay. I set up your event starting Tuesday. Shall I schedule it? Yes. Your recurring event is scheduled starting 9 a.m. Tuesday. So you probably know you can do simple math with Siri. You can ask Siri to add numbers and multiply numbers, things like that. But you can also do some more complex things and some very useful things like this. What is $87.53 plus 21%? is about 105.91 US dollars. So that's useful and you can use that for tipping. Uh, you can also ask for uh, complex things like what is the area of a circle with a radius of 78 centimeters? Checking. Okay. I found this. You can also ask Siri to help you with random numbers. So for instance you can be very general like this. Random number. It's 53. Or more specific, random number between 40 and 53. The answer is 49. Or you can do things like this. Flip a coin. It's heads. Roll a die. Rolling. It's 6. Roll a D20. Okay, 18 this time. Pick a card. Okay, the 9 of diamonds. You can also create and populate lists with Siri. And these are lists that will be in the Reminders app, but you don't even have to go to the Reminders app to do it. Create a new list named Grocery. I've created it. Just tell me if you'd like to add an item to this list. Add milk to the grocery list. I've added it. Add cheese to the grocery list. I've added it. Add bread to the grocery list. I've added it. Show me the grocery list. Here are your reminders on your grocery list. You can ask Siri to translate 
for you but it only really works well for single words. Still it's kind of useful. Translate bathroom from English to French. Let me have a look. Here's some information. What works better is definitions because Siri will actually read the definition to you. Define Renaissance. Renaissance means the revival of art and literature under the influence of classical models in the 14th, 16th centuries. So this one always seems to impress people. You can have Siri tell you what song is currently playing. Now if it's the song playing on your iPhone and you're asking Siri on your iPhone it's obviously going to figure that out quickly. But if nothing is playing on the device it will actually listen with the microphone and will identify the song and it's pretty accurate. So let's give it a try. I'm going to blank out the song here uh, so I don't run into any copyright issues uh, and try to leave in uh, Siri's response. What song is this? Let me listen. I can name that tune. I think it's Drive My Card by the Beatles. So I'm a baseball fan and at the beginning of this season Apple announced a deal with Major League Baseball uh, to bring a lot of really good deep information to Siri and it's really impressive. You can do things like this. Who won the World Series in 1980? Let's see. The Phillies won the World Series 4 to 2 over the Royals. They won the last game 4 to 1 on October 21st, 1980. So you can see it's pretty detailed information. How many RBIs did Hank Aaron have? Looking up Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron had 2297 runs batted in during his career. It's pretty impressive. I not that impressed that it would bring up all the stats, but that it understood that I wanted to know about RBIs in particular. Okay, so maybe you're an expert and you knew every single one of these tips. Here's something maybe you didn't know. You can actually correct Siri by typing text. Now, we've all run into a situation where Siri has misunderstood a word we've said, and you can actually correct that or if you actually spoke the wrong word, you can actually go back and correct it without having to ask Siri all over again. Here's a simple example, but you can use this in much more complex situations. What's the square root of 77? Let me think about that. It looks like the answer is approximately 8.77496. Now let's say you meant to ask for 87. I can scroll down here and I can tap in the text that Siri translated and I can actually change it without having to speak. Checking. It looks like the answer is approximately 9.32738. So this is very useful when you want to correct a complex query uh, and it's just much easier to just correct Siri this way by typing than it is to try to ask the question all over again.